Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to some more VGC. Uh, so we're just going to kick off, basically we're looking for a new opponent. Uh, I have finally updated the team uh, so that the Hatterene has the right uh, EV spread. Uh, and we can start on the speeding things, which is nice. Uh, funnily enough, it did actually had no EVs in special attack on accident. Uh, basically we were just fighting the wrong Pokemon. Um, yeah, we just kind of like autopiloted, uh, which is why if in the previous videos you're wondering like why certain attacks didn't pick up KOs, uh, that's why. Okay, so we've got a uh, opponent who's like pretty far up the ladder compared to us uh, with their own sort of like trick room kind of team. Uh, Ferrothorn and Delmize. So this looks like a colossal team. I'm thinking that's going to be a water Urshifu because the team is very weak to fire. Uh, so, I would expect to see Primarina, Urshifu, potentially Dusclops and Delmize. Uh, there's also the option of uh, Grim Snell coming out too. So, with the thought that it could be those two pretty early. Hmm. Problem is, I don't really have a way to activate the. Colossal, and how much does the Marinus actually do here? It does a fair bit to help out with the Primarina and the Hatterene, uh, the Primarina, sorry, and the uh, Urshifu. I don't really have a very good uh, Dusclops answer, but... Alright, so we'll lead Goth and Hat, and uh, just bring Colossal in the back to hopefully clean up. Uh, Goth allows us to potentially control Trick Room. Uh, Hat obviously puts on offensive pressure against an Urshifu, and uh, even the Primarina we're going to do a fair amount to. But let's see. Uh, Grimmsnarl, okay. Dustlop's Grimmsnarl, interesting. So Dustlop's obviously isn't locked in. Uh, Grimmsnarl itself can also go for a Fake Out if it really wants to. He does find our Mental Herb and life orb on hat which i don't think should be too surprising i mean mental herb obviously is a bit surprising uh i'm obviously not gonna dynamax here i almost went for expanding force instead of dazzling gleam oh yeah it's gonna dazzle yeah so there's fake out uh as dust looks like it's going for trick room potentially or does nightshade eject button okay Uh, I'm assuming it's Delmize. Or Ferrothorn. Delmize, yeah. And Trick Room. Okay. I mean, we are mid speed hat. So. Hmm. The question is what does the Dust Cops want to go for? I think we attempt to reverse Trick Room here. It's obviously physical Delmize. We're not doing huge amounts of damage, but... Oh, uh, the question is, is it weakness policy? That's the other question. Hmm. God, not, not Dynamaxing Hat is a bit of a problem. We're gonna hard switch Hat out into Amoongus. Uh, I kind of expect uh, Gothitelle to go down here, but we'll see. Yeah, Delmize is gonna Dynamax. That's like not a surprise at all. Uh, it's in a Beast Ball, which I very much respect. So, I'm assuming a Max Phantasm goes into Gothitelle. Ah, okay. So it is weakness policy, uh, as I should have probably predicted the Shadow Sneak. And Goth will almost certainly go down here. That's Steel Spike, okay. Into Amoongus. Alright. Uh, defense boost. 
So this Duskolops is starting to become a pain, and losing a Moongus there is not ideal. The Steel Spike, I guess, makes sense because I could have Max Flared, but, you know, why Max Flare when you can Max Flare, you know? Alright, big call time. So, alright, what do we want to do here? We could ally switch to stop a Max Phantasm, potentially. Uh, Max Flare, Max Flare is super obvious into the Dalmise, so the question is does it want a Max Guard and have Dustlops go for a Trick Room and that's the whole thing? Or does it just want to try and take me out and assume it's going to live? And realistically how much is a Max Flare doing to a Dusclops? And the answer is probably not a lot. Uh, I'm just going to go for it. Dusclops switches out, okay. Into Prim. Alright. So maybe I revealed uh, Ally Switch too early. I should have just gone for an expanding force, I think. Or he's max phantasming into the goth del slot and I've just screwed up real bad. I was tempted to vocalith the dusk up slot too. Okay, he's not protecting. A okay, big max flare coming out. Doesn't KO. I didn't really expect it to, but it would have been nice if it did. Phantasm. Yeah, okay. We do live though, which is nice. So, I definitely should have expanding force, not that I switched. I would have thought he would have targeted the uh, Colossal there. Uh, we are slower than a Primarinite as well, which is uh, very important to note. Hmm. Question is, do we live a, uh... What over the back, Katarine, right? Hmm. Do I Trick Room here? Is Max Flare too obvious? Time to just a Vocalith to get Residual. And just go for Expanding Force as well. I'm gonna double it. It's probably gonna protect this turn, but we'll see. Could also be, yeah. I really should have called that. Do we live this? No, not even through sun. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. So that was just a. Oh, it's life orb. Okay. Alright, bring a hat. So, I was, that's, that's what I was saying, like I was tempted to trick room just because we're getting in hat now, obviously. Alright. We protect. And trick room. So I've made quite a few mistakes in this game. Uh... I mean, the bottom line is I at least recognize it. Duskops, okay. But, yeah, it, definitely mistakes that I should not have made. Okay, so what does the Primarina want to go for? Parasong. Oh, uh, okay. Shock. Sure. Fair enough. Uh, well, I mean, that's just kind of that, right? I actually forgot Primarina got Parasong. So it's Life Orb Primarina with Parasol. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna like complain. I mean, it is what it is, right? Uh, let's just forfeit. There's no point playing this out. Alright. Yeah, so my opponent definitely outplayed me in that game. Uh, I mean, I, it's funny, right? Because like I called a lot of stuff that would happen, but she didn't really play around it. I wasn't expecting the Parish Song though, I'll put that out there. That's just something to remember, I guess. Because a lot of the Primarinas you see are like, uh, 
you know, Hyper Boys, Hydro Cannon, uh, Energy Ball, plus Moonblast, uh, with the potential like Aqua Jet, things like that. Uh, Perish Song's probably pretty low on the list. So, yeah. I definitely should have played better in that game, but that's okay. We got another game, we got a chance to redeem ourselves. Uh, we got a Decidueye plus uh, Drift Blim with a Crocodile, uh, Amoongus, Sableye, and Urshifu. Okay. So, uh, Seijin Park, uh, who is a very, very good VGC player, recently became number one in the rankings with the Drift Blim Decidueye team. Uh, I was using a Raichu for Brutal Swing to activate a weakness policy on the Decidueye. Uh, the question is, do they lead Amoongus? That's the real question. Hmm. I'm going to try the Primer in a Colossal lead. Uh, Decidueye is a real problem for this team. I'm just going to put that out there. It, it is a real, real problem. We're very ghost weak. Uh, so we're basically going trick room mode without trick room. That seems bad. Obviously. Alright, ring off. I feel like I never use dust stops and I really should. Like, every time I burst the dust stops, I'm like, man, how do I deal with this thing? And then I just never bring mine. Uh, I need to put more faith in it. But, let's see what Robbie Vins has for us. As I, yeah, I think that will lead Amoongus, so it's Urshifu plus Amoongus, yeah. It's Water Urshifu too. Tempted to Dynamax Primarina in this game. And go for, uh... Uh, max uh, Fairy into the Urshi. Stops Spores coming out from the Amoongus. Yeah, that's why I like Dazzling Gleam on. Uh, hmm. It's definitely Water Urshi for... Prim wasn't such a good spot. Damn it. Ugh. I have no idea if I got that in on time. Way too indecisive. It's a Dynamax Urshifu, or G-Max Urshifu, I should say. Big boy. Rage powder. Okay. What's the HP want to go for? Just rapid flow. Okay, Gothda hangs on, which is good. And it's life orb too. Go for a moon blast. Fake out the Urshi. Ah, oh, sorry, fake out the Amoongus, Moonblast the Urshi. Or do we actually now Dynamax Prim? Just go for Max Fairy. Problem is, Max Prim can't Max Water. <laughs> uh, and I feel like with Decidueye and such in the back, it's not good. Okay, Amoongus just protects. Okay. Interesting. I guess that makes sense, because like I could have just, but I'd have to have hard read that. Yeah, Goth goes down. He pretty much had to 100% target Goth there. See how much Moonblast does. Man, come on. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's 
go hat. Uh, okay. Kind of wasting everything just to try and get rid of this Moongus. Yeah, okay. Rage Powder is to be 100% expected here. Just wrap the flow again into Hatterene, I assume, this time. Yeah, we don't live. This was just such a tough lead to go up against. Alright. We got rid of the Oshibo at least. Now he's going to deal with the like, six, uh, two other Pokemon on the back. Uh, but they can't Dynamax, which is important. So now we have a chance. So they like, they almost certainly have to Rage Powder here, right? Which is important to note. Uh, unfortunately, because we are Assault Vested, we can't protect the Primarina. Uh, we could just go for a heat wave too. But the problem is heat waves are not KOing anything here. And we have to flare. I'll target the Sidui. Do I Okay. What do I do here? I think I have to go for the Aqua Jet. Like I I don't like here's the thing, they're 100 percent rage powdering. They're Leaf Blading the Primarina. We almost certainly go down to that Leaf Blade. Uh, I guess like if we don't die to it, so we are pretty defensively invested. Maybe I should have gone for Hyper Voice potentially to break a potential Focus Sash on Decidueye. But, you know. Rage Powder, yeah. I mean, maybe the Rage Powder makes a difference with Max Flare, who knows. I would have done like all of 2 damage. Uh, we live to... damn it. And it's the frickin' Berry. Oh, of course it is. I did nothing dude, holy crap. I mean it dies next turn anyway. I really wish I had Protect on Colossal. Ah, uh, not Colossal, Primarina. Uh, we just go for the Aqua Jet play again. Like, the now we literally have no other choice. I actually should have Max Fled into the Amoongus because if he gets a Spore off, we kind of lose. Okay, okay, all right. If this is Sash, Ah, uh, it's, uh, it's a Shadow Snake. Damn it. Okay. I heard it's not Sash. Okay, it's not Sash. Alright. Alright. Okay. I don't know why he'd protect a Moongus, though. I really don't. Crook. God bless. Uh, we still have much flared it. Does Vocalith KO? Uh, I feel like it doesn't, right? I'm gonna Vocalith anyway. We're gonna die to a high horsepower, assuming they connect it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we lived. Okay. Vocal of damage. Alright. Bring this goes down. Breaks potential sash on the crook. Uh, 
All right. Uh, the question is, can we live a different attack from this uh, crocodile? So we're going to protect to try and build up Bokolith damage, obviously. The real question is, does it go for crunch? Does it go for, you know, probably a brutal swing? I'm going to assume it has. Let's just high horse power. Okay. I wonder if it's Scarf Crook. Alright, we have to go for Heat Wave. And we're gonna hope he misses High Horse Bell. No. Ow. Uh, okay. So, what could I have done? Yeah, I don't think even like with that turn where I uh, Aqua Jetted the first time with Primarina, whether that would have mattered too much. Um, I guess I could, yeah. What I should have done is, I should have started with Hat Gothitelle, that's my fault. Uh, because we would have been in a much better position. Uh, then we could have, uh, potentially just gone for Fake Out plus, uh, I guess Max, Max Mindstorm into the, uh, Urshi. Uh, that would have been a very, very, very good turn one. Although, question of whether we live a... G-Max Rapid Flow into a Dynamax Hatterene? I'm not sure. Okay, so now we have an opposing Colossal team uh, with a Gashadon to stop other Colossals. Uh, we got a, a Machamp uh, as well as a Meowstic and a Talonflame. Okay. Let's lead Goth Hat. Let's do that. Uh, Amoongus seems pretty good here. And... Tempted to bring Dust Lots, but I think Prim's probably best here. So, three games, uh, no Dust Lots. Uh, let's see what Cone Master... Jesus Christ. Uh, let's, see, let's see what he's got to bring. Alright, it's Meowstic and Talonflame, okay. Uh, okay, so we're gonna watch out for potential trick shenanigans. We're gonna watch out for, I mean, Brave Bird. Watch out for, actually, it could be Fake Out coming out from Meowstic. That is an option. Uh, I'm tempted to... Hmm. What do we do here? I attempt to fake out Talonflame. And... Mindstorm the Talonflame. I mean... A lot of Talonflames running Focus Sash now, there's potential of, say, Sharp Beak, uh, Safety Goggles, but, yeah. We'll see. Let's see if Big Hat can bring us over the line this time. Okay. Interesting. It was Trick, alright. Got an eject button. Downflame flinches. So I, I called the trick right. The problem is now, you know, we're in this position. <laughs> and the Meowstic has a life orb, which is, you know, whatever. But now the Meowstic can't say Thunder Wave, uh, so there's no priority. Champ comes out, okay. Maybe the Meowstic has like Dazzling Gleam or something. Gonna... Mine's almost Smite. I swear to god, every time I've Smited, I've never got a single, uh... Confusion, so we're gonna attempt to get that now. Oh, uh, it could be Rock Slide, actually. No, okay, it's Dynamaxing. The Meowstic could have Dazzling Gleam, it could have Expanding Force. If it's got either of those, we're kind of screwed, so I'm kind of just going to wear it. Maybe I should have trick-roomed, actually. 
But anyway, we'll see. Meastic ally switches. <laughs> okay, so this is where Smite may actually pay off. The other option too is that we could have uh, expanding forced with uh, ha uh, Gothitel. Okay, Gothitel lives max dark, which is really really clutch. Uh, we know that the Hatterene, uh, sorry, the uh, Miastic isn't Sash because uh, we have its item. My god, man. Hatterene's so good. Alright. A nice big confusion off. As it is Guts Machamp, which is not terribly surprising. Uh, I'm going to Mindstorm and just Expanding Force as well. Uh, maybe I should have stepped Trick Room. Actually, that probably would have been the play. But we'll see. I mean, maybe maybe finally GMAX Smite can come and clutch and we can finally get a confusion off. Maybe. Never. Okay, that makes sense. Seems like a fair chunk of damage though. I'm assuming Gothdale goes down here, like, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know why that's so funny to me, but it just is. Oh man. Okay. Uh, I think we just bring in a Prim, potentially? Or a Moongus. I think Prim. Let's see if the champ can hit itself in fusion. Man, never lucky, huh? Alright, Primarina takes that relatively well, though. We did get a Spadef drop, though. And again, I really should have tricked him with Gothadel, but that's fine. As we do big, big damage to that Machamp. It's Gastrodon, okay. And we do have a Spadef drop. Uh, okay. Gonna Energy Ball and attempt to go for Trick Room. But again, I think Gulf dies. Uh, we could. Actually, do I Trick Room? Now that there's a Gastrodon on the board? Probably not, right? Let's see. The question is, does Primarina... Oh, she's faster. Never mind. Don't worry about my question. It got answered. So I'm curious to see what the... Gastron wants to go for. It's Earth Power. Into the Primarina slot. Okay. That's fine, I think. Uh, I'm just going to Expanding Force and Energy Ball. I was tempted to switch out into a Moongus, they just forfeit. Uh, Alright, so we did get two losses uh, and a win there. We get at least get to see a really cool uh, GMAX Machamp, uh, which is really, really nice to see. Uh, but let's, let's grab one more, this could be a mistake. Uh, you know, last time I did this I, I lost, but... <laughs> I, I really, really don't like going negative in in these uh, in these ones here. We even had an opportunity at the start of the episode uh, when we burst someone in the 6,000s to just gain a bunch of points. But they were up there for a reason. They thoroughly outplayed us. Uh, as we're versing the rank number 14,000. Uh, we've got our old friend Charizard, along with a Drake's ult and a Diggersby. Man, Diggersby is the bane of my existence. That thing hits so hard. Uh, the Charizard's really interesting because it's not, say, like, paired with anything that I can see. Uh, that might set up, say, Sunny Day or what have you. 
The Drake Assault's also a problem, but I feel like Diggersby comes out here. Could you see a Colossal, uh, and most of my Pokemon will die to a Max Strike. Okay. The issue is, like, Amoongus Diggersby, like, I, I just don't know how to deal with that. I really don't. Particularly if it's the berry. Uh, what about Amoongus hat? The problem is being slower than Amoongus. That's like hat's biggest weakness outside of Trick Room. Alright, what about... Oh. Let's go Goth hat. Let's bring Dusclops in the back to try and get some tricky switch-ins on strikes. And... Prim. Let's give this a go. Uh, we definitely have to outplay our opponent here. Uh, because, yeah. Tickets me, like, in all of my testing and everything like that, is just always being the bane of, bane of it. Because it, it's max strikes with, uh... Yeah, it's max strikes just hits so hard. That should be... Water Urshifu plus Drake Assault. Okay. Uh, I don't know if Hatterene takes a Max Lightning. It definitely would take a double up. Oh boy. Here's the thing Hatterene's very good against this. If it lives. Like, you have to, like, surely you have to respect that, like, a Dazzling Gleam would just do a ton of damage to you. Surely. But, uh, let's see. It's Scarf, Drake Assault, and Policy Urshi? Okay. Alright, Duskops eats. Actually, I think, sorry, I think it was Scarf, Urshi. Weakness policy Zolt. Yeah. Okay. I actually really wanted Dusclops to go down there. <laughs> uh, that would have worked out a lot better for me. Alright. Spanning Force, the Ashifu. Pain Split the Zolt. I actually should have uh, Pain Split the Urshi. I should. Because I don't think. Uh, Expanding Force actually KOs. We get a ton of HP back. Okay. Yeah. Should have made double up into the Oshifu, but that's okay. Yeah. That's fine. It actually hit all of these Bolt Beaks. Okay, who's that going to? Okay. Can we live this? Dude, what the hell? Dusclops. Uh, expanding force again, and what's gonna do more? Probably just my shit is fine. I could pain split again, actually, but I feel like this is okay. We're getting rid of like a massive threat in Urshi. We're dealing a ton of damage to a Drake Assault. We are wasting turns of Trick Room, obviously. But... It's fine. Plus, getting rid of the Ashfu over the Drake Assault is... The Drake Assault has a chance to miss. It hasn't yet, but it has a chance to miss. It connects again. Okay. Gets a crit for good measure. Alright, now he's bringing hat. Uh, so I'm curious as to see whether uh, Expanding Force actually KOs a Drake result. It's pre Marina, okay. Alright, I'm gonna expand. Oop. 
Um, actually, does it matter? Yeah, it does actually. Spaniful Salt, Mindstorm, Prim. The Prim Arena could uh, Dynamax and uh, Max Guard, uh, which would be kind of disastrous for us, if I'm being honest. If Expanding Force doesn't KO uh, Drake's Ult, which it probably won't, considering it didn't even KO the Oshifu. But we'll see. Alright, big hat. Okay, no protect coming out from the Krim. That's really good damage. Set up the Psychic Terrain, which is really important. Battlefield gets weird. Expanding Force. Oh, Gothitel. <laughs> Alright. That's awesome. Okay, I really gotta bring Dusclops more often. Like, he was. He kinda just put the whole team on its back in this one. Uh, taking the hits. Oh, oh god. It's it's the Diggers B. He's out. Oh lordy. Not like this. Uh, we lost our Dusclops too. Oh boy. That's bad. Uh, how many turns a Trick Room actually? It's the last turn. So. Protect is pretty obvious. But, I mean, I can't do anything but Mindstorm and Expanding Force anyway. Okay, no Protect. It's Sash? Okay. Does it- maybe it doesn't carry Protect. It might be like, uh, Giga Impact, Quick Attack, High Horsepower, Coverage Move. Interesting. Well, that one was kind of a wash, but I mean, I'll take it. Uh, cool. All right. Well, uh, that will actually do us off for this one, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, I feel like we start off with a rough start, but towards the end, we really pick it up there. Uh, but yeah, I really appreciate it if you guys watched. Uh, if you did, feel free to leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.